the original. These devils are scared. What will happen when I reach my pinnacle as an uncontrolled individual? Cheating is pitiful. Where's the morals? They're like squirrels. While I have mastered the essence of how to stab and slice, like 12 tribes with a whole bunch of swords and knives sworn to fight for God, for life. And then they say we're fanatical for thinking the same. Talking about we're free to believe what we want, but don't think like them. The most respectable while these capitalist dogs in the ancient world would have been the most detestable. And things were even, natural. The only way to show who really has a superior soul because of what they know in the spiritual realm that helps them glow. All this reminds me of something that strong black man C. Murder said. You know, in the song, Hard Niggas. All my niggas buy, you know, all C Murder stuff. Anything he's selling that he gets a lot of money from, figure it out, buy it, buy it up. You feel me? That's what I would say, you know. Yeah, but don't take this as a sign I'm falling in line or, you know, weak or anything. But, you know, I give respect where it's due regardless. Um. So, like I was saying, you know, when he goes up and he's like, you know, do we got a problem? And not I, you know. I think it's at the beginning of the song. See murder hard niggas. You know. That's what all this reminds me of. You know. It's like nigga we run up on these niggas. And they were like not I. And after all these years. They're trying to downplay that fact. You know. And when you're a real warrior. Denied your place at the same time. Knowing that it was martial arts. Like you specifically. Of all the black people. It was people that had my kind of color skin. Kind of my kind of features. You know, a bit smaller, but people got taller over time. You know, that's how we evolved uh, the average height. You know, to know this stuff, man, it is the type of burning rage that nothing can put out. You know, if God flooded the earth again, that rage would not be put out. You understand me? These are the types of scumbags that you want to pull out of their fucking raised pickup truck, you know, they're on 32s or something, you reach up that motherfucker, you step on that little thing, right, or whatever, and you pull these niggas out, you know, and you stab them in the fucking neck with a spear. Now, I'm not saying you should do it, but it's that kind of a rage, right? And they say, well, why, you know, we're, we're scared of black, you know, vengeance because they have masons who report on this stuff. They knew there were people like me fighting for honor. They knew they sabotaged the love life of the black man. They knew that blacks had overheard and some masons had got drunk and, you know, and spilled the beans as if they even had to do that. Right. Um, about them controlling our reproduction. So think about it. Put yourself in this in, in my shoes and a slave's shoes and everyone like that shoes, you know, bondsmen. You know, it's like, look, you know, you sabotage my fucking love life. Genius. Give me your fucking bitch. I mean, come on. Why do you think they forced all these women to marry them in Haiti? Oh, 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 I wasn't supposed to say that, was I? Come on, and then you black women are helping them? As if I'm not completely fucking right? You know, I'm going to end this by saying this again, you know. I would have used the clip, but I don't want to, you know, you know, use that clip. I, I don't want to use too, too many clips anymore. Um, he basically, he goes up on the nigga, right? He's like, we got a problem? Not, not I. Not I see, you know. That, that, that's how this shit started. That's how civilization started, nigga. A bunch of big black niggas going up to non-blacks and saying, nigga, do we have a motherfucking problem? You know, someone said, not I, and turned tail real fast. They're like, look, we're going to go now. These guys are faster. They're stronger. We're leaving now. We're gone. Okay? Some of them said, you know what? Fuck that. The white man is superior. Or whoever they were. Bang! Dead. That is how Africa started, man. Don't get it twisted. Don't. Don't. Now these tail tucked Cavemen, come back. These nomadic, barbaric pagans, come back. And they want to tell me how to behave, nigga. Nigga, who pioneered it, nigga? Who started this shit, nigga? Who put this shit together in the first place, nigga? Who's the 
truth and whose propaganda nugga Call, call the Masons. Go, 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 go to Stormfront. I'll call the Masons. You get the local, local other white Christian groups involved. And, and, okay, okay, I gotta calm down. Okay, we control everything anyway, right? Right? You know, I and mean, what happens when we can't cross the street and these niggas are in our grill, as they say? What happens then? What happens then? <laughs> we can't retreat. We can't retreat to the Caucasus Mountains this time. What? What? Yes, yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. I am a psychiatrist, and we, this is what we found over the years. When we're panicking about what we think the white, uh, uh, the, the darkies are doing, you know, it is socially normative. You know, we cross the street all the time, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But when they panic about what us good white folk might be doing to them, like eugenics for their own good, I mean, you know, that's schizophrenic. That is psychosis to a T. Text book. Oh, yeah, I agree. Agree, agree. Let's vote. Let's put it to a vote. I agree. <laughs> I agree, too. Yeah.